Hey guys, Katie here from bitsbox.co.uk. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a really exciting unboxing for you guys. We have been waiting just shy of a year for this to arrive. So we have the Animal Adventures Secrets of Gullet Cove at last by Steamforge Games. So uh, this is like a D&D &D adventure. So without further ado, let's just get straight in and finally take a look inside at what we've got. So we'll start with the maps and everything, which I'm not going to lie, look awesome. So you have a beautiful little map here of Gullet Cove with all your buildings. Uh, they're actually numbered, so there must be like a key or something perhaps in the book for what these places are. But you've got a nice daytime and nighttime version. Absolutely gorgeous. Which brings us on to the playing mats. Now we did just have a brief look at these, so you actually get like four mini maps on each insert so uh stunning detail absolutely stunning so yeah half and half it's just gorgeous okay so that's one of the player mats let's see oh i should have opened this first <laughs> Okay, so we've got some buildings on this one and some streets and turn it over. Very detailed little market map and looks like, like a dock or some sort of marine type area. So yeah, the detail on these are amazing guys. Which brings us to our book. We also have like all the dice, which are really cute. Oh my God, they've got little, little paws on. <laughs> That's so cute. Absolutely love them. Uh, some gorgeous, really good quality little tokens here. They're actually, oh wow, they are lush. Zoom in on those. And then the paws on the other side. They are so gorgeous. And we did decide to add on to our little order some of these really cute little pins. Where am I? There we go. So I'm a bit crazy with collecting pins. So they're going to be... Uh, in the collection very soon pride of place <laughs> okay so that brings us on to this gorgeous source book really good quality quite thick looks like it's got lots of rules in there let's take a look at the contents page real quick so yeah it gives you all the usuals you've got all the class features backgrounds uh, guides to religions etc and then it goes through all the different adventures you can play out uh, introduction just beautiful layout oh, so cute gorgeous artwork absolutely amazing can't wait to play this we've been oh we've been so looking forward to it oh wow these are just awesome guys absolutely love it just have a quick flick through <gasps> brings us to the kitties love the cats Sorry, you can probably hear Lee squeaking in the background, which is quite soon. Lee likes it as well. Yeah, so religions and guides. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I mean, the artwork is just so consistent throughout. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, and the villains are in there as well by the looks of it. So that's very good. So yeah, absolutely stunning. So that's the book and the maps. Let's move straight on to the best bit, which is the models. Okay, so the first box, we have Mutt and Bailey, The Legend of the Golden Crab. So we've got the models out of the box so you can see. So first up is Mutt. I'll bring him to the front for a little close-up. Gorgeous little pooch, very detailed. I love all the armour and stuff he's got on. Really cute indeed. Next we have The Golden Crab with the enormous uh, chest of treasure on his back. He's very, very detailed and considerably bigger than the other models uh, than what I've seen. And then we have Bailey, who's a really cute little pirate cat with a little parrot. But yeah, um, she's a bit smaller than the others, but don't be fooled by how small she is because the detail on her is very, very nice indeed. Um, I don't even think the camera with the light is doing it much justice, but 
yeah when you get really like close up you can just see how detailed these are and they are lovely miniatures so without further ado let's move on to the next one okay so the next box is tooth and paw i really like this one actually because um uh, i'll bring you to the first model which is now right let me pronounce this right i think it's Galer or Galert of Hexia, who is a famed watcher. <laughs> so beautiful detail. Um, we couldn't quite decide what breed the dog was. So if you know what breed he is, let us know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning detail on that. Look at it's just so good. Look at that. Uh, let's move on to Wayne's personal favourite, the Were Shark move him so you can see the detail on the side there um the quite large miniature actually uh, i mean consid considerably larger compared to the rest especially what we've seen so far but yeah he is uh pretty beastly uh which brings us to our three little goblins with their scary looking pitchforks <laughs> cool little goggles they've got on yeah, they're, they're quite small as well, quite about the same size as, um, I think it was Bailey. Yeah, Bailey, the cat we just saw a minute ago. But yeah, um, they're really detailed as well. And the last miniature in this box is, let me get this, Cunning Man. So, I don't know if the, oh yeah, you can pick it up on the screen. So she's got this really long beard and he's like holding, I think, a couple of birds, isn't he? Yeah, there we go. I can see now. I'm closer. Massive pack on. <laughs> so yeah, loving these sets so far, guys. They are really stunning miniatures. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Which brings us to our last box, which is uh, the complete campaign setting. So uh, first of all, I got these out first because they're right at the bottom. So when unboxing this, make sure you take all the trays out because these were literally right right at the bottom. So we've got some lovely tokens there, wrap tokens, double-sided, very good quality. Uh, there are a lot of miniatures in here, so let's go through them slowly, one sort of tray at a time. So, uh, if actually, if I take those that out, I can tell you the character names, hopefully, if they're on the back. So all the characters and their names are on the backs of the box. So I think this is Queenie we have right here. And Warden of the Golden Collar is next. Love the little flag. Next is, oh my God, this is great. Reximus. I think this is my favourite one so far. Reximus. <laughs> Just sounds so gallant and bold love it uh who do we have next oh i don't know i'm competing now this is luna like little mage i'm really liking her as well actually absolutely gorgeous i'll let wayne just <laughs> yeah we have a lot of models here to go through so oh fluffy dog next this is zoe Big fluffy pooch with some awesome looking gear. And then we have, oh, actually, I think I might have, no, sorry, this one right here with a little pirate hat, that is Queenie. So the one I done at the beginning, by the looks of it, is Bartholomew. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. On the back of the box, it's like, it, it isn't quite so clear, I don't think, as it could be, but oh well box layout aside the models are absolutely stunning so far which brings us to the pudgy cats so let me line these up and we can get some good shots for you uh these are actually really tiny <laughs> in comparison to the poochies which i mean true cats are smaller than dogs but they are nonetheless super detailed the, oh it's just incredible really incredible so the cat's names are pal denira eduardo mccoy and coral so hopefully the camera can do them some justice guys 
try and show the other sides of them. <laughs> Lee's looking at the cats, thinking maybe lunch. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. I love the equipment. Oh, she's got like this really cute little bow on her. Sorry, fangirl. Right, <laughs> let's move on to the next box and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so this time we've got them all out of the box ready because there was an, loads of them, so before, right, we'll get them all out this time. So anyway, first of all, I got the names wrong again, guys. I'm sorry. So this is Queenie on her little pirate ship and she is awesome. Check her out. I absolutely love this model so much. I cannot wait to play this game properly. This is perfect if you're an animal lover and love D&D as well. So the next one I absolutely love, especially because of the name, is the ne Necromastiff, <laughs> who is awesome. I just hope you can bring the detail up on it on him. He's just gorgeous, gorgeous miniature. And that brings us to who should we do next? Let's do let's do down here. So we've got the little skeleton cats. You get three of the same sculpt for those. So pretty simple, just skeleton cats. Quite small, obviously, but um effective still. <laughs> and I absolutely love these. To so get three of these little zombie cats as well. love how the paws are positioned <laughs> very classic zombie pose going on there so yeah I absolutely love them cutest zombie cats I've ever seen <laughs> so that brings us to the baddies uh, let's do uh, how many of these guys do we get I think there's four of these guys and they are uh, the were rats so yeah, as I said, you get four of these guys, same sculpt. Very nice indeed. I love the torches they're holding. They're going to look really nice painted up, actually. And then we have, yep, he is the Rat King. That's really detailed. Really detailed. I like that a lot. Is that like a rat on... Looks like a jester. Mm. I think it's on like the jester's back. <laughs> That's really cool. And that then brings us to the last miniature in the box, <laughs> the Rataclism, who is monstrous <laughs> in size comparison to the rest, but he is awesome. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that before. He's actually got like three heads <laughs> coming out of the size. Yeah, Rataclism is a good name for him and the size of those claws and arms <laughs> so yeah um thoroughly impressed guys and super super excited i mean i can't wait to play this i love cats i love dogs and if you love cats and dogs you're probably gonna love this game as well so keep an eye out on the channel guys because i really would like to get these painted up and take some photos for you all to see because i think once the details brought out they're gonna look just amazing stunning so i hope you liked this unboxing guys please give it a big thumbs up if you did and yeah if i got any names or any dog breed or anything wrong please let me know in the comments and i shall see you in the next video